Hello and welcome to my art channel. Today I thought I would do a little painting vlog because as you can see behind me I have this huge commission on the go and I thought it would be cool to show you guys some close-ups and also I still have to finish it off so I'm going to get some of the painting process and explain uh, what I've done and how it's going. So yeah grab yourself a nice drink. I've just got myself an iced coffee which I'm currently obsessed by because as you all know I'm a busy mum now and the great thing about iced coffee is that it doesn't go cold because it's already cold <laughs> uh, so yeah that's another thing also if there are any of you that are beginner artists and you absolutely love painting but you just feel like you need that little bit more guidance then it would be amazing to have you join us in learn to paint with confidence which is my online painting course so i will pop all the details in the link in the description box and you can join up and i will send you a personal invitation by email to join us in the course it's amazing and the transformations that people are having in the course is truly amazing and it's just incredible to watch all you artists just flourish in your own style and creating your own beautiful, unique artwork. If you're already enrolled in Learn to Paint with Confidence, leave a comment below and let me know what your favourite lesson or favourite module was, because um, that'd be awesome to hear what you enjoyed the most. Um, but anyway, for now, let's crack on with the painting. I'm actually going to be using golden acrylics with this piece because it was such a huge piece I wanted to make sure that I was using really amazing quality paints uh, so I'd heard really good things about golden and they're not the cheapest but I was happy to invest it in such a big piece because it is a commission and I want to make sure it's of the best quality and so those are the paints that I'm going to be using I've also got these brushes which are beautifully huge I absolutely love painting with big brushes these are Artist Oil Sins Synthetic Hog Filbert Windsor and Newton. And this is in, where there is, this is in size 16 and a 12. So it's super fun. And I've also been using a painting wedge to create the, oh, don't look at my nails, they look really bad, uh, to create like the petals and stuff and it creates really amazing texture. And so that's what I'm gonna be using. So let's get some music on and crack on. <laughs> show you some of the process to how I actually got to this. Also apologies if you can hear the rain, it's absolutely <laughs> throwing it down outside and it's actually so relaxing because we've had really um, like hot sunshine all week and it's like oh I love the rain. Anyway it's a complete mood in here I'm telling you, <laughs> candles on, raining outside, coffee, it's like it feels like autumn, it's getting me excited for autumn already. But I just wanted to walk through like the commission process because I know a lot of you uh, are artists and also really love to offer commissions but sometimes struggle with like the process that one goes through and I thought I would share with you my process and um, not that you have to take any of these ideas on um, but the first thing that I like to do is uh, obviously discuss with the client exactly what sort of thing they're going for and if they have any preferences with colour and subject and that sort of thing and also if they like any of my previous artworks so that I can get a feel for what it is that they are drawn to. Then the second step was I created these little composition sketches. So these are just different composition ideas for the painting and I think in the end we kind of went with, which one? We kind of went with this one um, but then over time it's like changed a little bit and then I went ahead and created some little like sketches but I did it all digitally and um, because when you create them digitally it can 
be a lot faster and a lot easier to change. You can just change the color with like a click of a button. So it's a lot easier than uh, going backwards and forwards with different sketches. And this is the one that uh, I personally really liked and the client really liked too. So what I did was printed that off uh, and you can see it sometimes up on the wall behind me. I don't know if you can see it in shot now, but I've actually printed that off and stuck it up on the wall to make sure that I get the scale correct. And then I created in my sketchbook some sketches with charcoal. So this was like a, on a darker background and quite high contrast. And then this one was more of like a light and airy version just to play around with different ideas and also did some color swatches and another little composition sketch up here. So you can see that the colors kind of suit and match what has actually happened on the canvas, <laughs> which is good because this was my concept plan. And then from there, I created a little acrylic sketch on just this canvas board. And this is like also next to me as I'm painting so that I can compare the two and make sure that everything's in the right place. Because that's the only thing, once you start painting in a large scale, it can be really difficult to keep the scale right, if that makes sense. Like it's easy because you're so up close like this, it's so easy to get things out of proportion. So keeping this here and then standing back or taking photographs on my phone can just make sure that I've got all the things in the right places. I did actually use one of these little composition guides to help me put it together and to make sure that the flowers are hitting all the right spots to make a, a great composition. And if you would like to learn more about this and how to use it, then click the link in the description box, which will invite you to learn to paint with confidence course. And in that, I like one of the modules is composition and we go deep into composition and how to create a compelling composition that draws your eye in. Um, Cause I know composition is one of those things that scares a lot of people and it used to scare me a lot, but honestly, um, it's not that difficult, especially when you can simplify it and create these little funky tools. So anyway, there we go. I just thought I'd give you a little rundown process of how this idea sort of like came about. And there we go, I'm gonna get another coffee, I think, and crack on with the painting. there for today and maybe sleep on it come back to it tomorrow I just want to say a massive thank you for joining me in the studio today again don't forget if you are a beginner artist and you're just looking for a little more guidance make sure to click the link in the description box and join my mailing list and I'll send you some awesome tips and tricks and yeah cool content basically uh, have a beautiful day whatever you are doing and wherever you are let me know in the comments where you are watching this video from uh, because it's amazing that we can all connect like this all over the world like-minded artists and gain inspiration it's super cool so a massive thank you have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next video bye